Hello everyone, I am Nick from Bootscap. This tutorial is about integrating a sensor device with Bootscap platform using Node MCU and DHT11 sensor. I have divided this tutorial into three parts. First one is about how to set up a Bootscap platform to receive data from sensor. Second one is about hardware setup and programming. Third one is about creating the dashboard and data visualizing. Let's move on to the first part about how to set up a Bootscap platform to receive data from sensor. First, log in to the platform using your credentials. Now click on message definition. In this example we are going to see how a temperature sensor sending two parameters like temperature, humidity are defined. Click on define message and enter a message ID and message name. I am giving message ID as 1001 and message name as DHT11. Then give some description. Then define the parameters and its data type. I'm giving the field name as temperature and humidity then data type as float and integer from the drop down option. Click on proceed to save and exit. You can see the defined messages over here. Let's move on to the next part. In this part, we are going to see how the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor using Node MCU is configured to send data to the platform. Let's now see about the hardware and its programming part. First connect the DHT11 4 pin sensor with the Node MCU as shown in the diagram. Make sure to connect the voltage pin to the 3 volt pin in Node MCU. And the data pin with any of the GPIOS in the Node MCU and the ground pin to the ground pin in the node MCU. Once the connection is done as per the diagram, you can either use an Arduino IDE or Visual Studio code with platform IO extension for programming the device. In this tutorial we are going to use Arduino IDE. Before the start of the programming we have to import required libraries. Since we are using Node MCU, I have included ASP8266 Wi Fi module and DHT sensor libraries. Then we need to define the necessary configurations. First, we define the message ID and its reporting interval. Then we define the sensor type and the GPIO interface pin details. Next, we define the device and its Wi Fi details. The SSID and password will be the one installed in your local location. You can get the domain name and API key from the homepage of the platform when you log in. Next we need to specify the device ID which is nothing but the unique ID of that device. Device model is the DHT11 sensor which we have used. The firmware version will be the software version installed in the device. We are using the MQTT protocol for sending messages to the platform. We configure the necessary settings as shown here. The topic name is a key element in this configuration which we are using to subscribe or publish the message to the platform. After we have connected the device using the local Wi-Fi SSID, the device will post a message based on the value we defined in the reporting interval. For example, if the reporting interval is set as 60 seconds, the device will post a message to the platform every 60 seconds. This is the data formation part. Here I have formed the JSON object with the temperature and humidity that are read from the DHT11 sensor. The field name should be the same as the field name that you have already defined in your message definition in the platform. If not we won't be able to send the messages to the platform. Once we are done with this setup, we can now upload this code to the hardware. Make sure to select the correct hardware version from the tools option. Before uploading the code make sure that every detail is given correctly. Also this is the COM port where your device is connected to a laptop or computer. Once it is done, you can power up your device. It can be placed in any environment where you want to measure the temperature and humidity. The device now will start sending messages to the platform using MQTT protocol. Let's move on to the next part. In this part we are going to see how to create a dashboard to display the temperature and humidity data. Once you log in, click on the dashboard editor in the home page. 
All the dashboards created previously will be listed here. Click on Add button to add a new dashboard. Give the dashboard a name. You can also add icons, change your background and text color and then proceed. Once it is done you see the blank dashboard. All the available widgets are listed here on the right side. You can also go to Boots Cup Marketplace to install any additional widgets. If you are familiar with web development you can create and customize your own widget by clicking on Add New Widget. Here in the code editor you can make the necessary code changes to customize your widget. In this tutorial, we are going to use temperature and humidity widgets and two chart widgets to display the data coming from the DHT11 device. Now that the widgets are added, click on the settings of the temperature widget to configure it. Give the widget a name, change the background and text colors as needed. In the drop down below select the message ID 1001 which we have created previously. And the correct device for which the value needs to be displayed. In our case it's DHT11 ESP. Click on run and you can preview the data and save it. By clicking on share as public button, individual widgets can also be shared and embedded in any website. Repeat the same steps for configuring the humidity widget. When configuring the line chart widget, initial steps remain the same. In addition, you have to make some changes in the JavaScript to specify the title of the chart and the values that should be displayed in the x-axis and y-axis. Click on run to preview and save the widget. Repeat the same steps when configuring the humidity chart. Once all the widgets are configured, you could drag and drop the widgets to adjust the size, move the widgets around and align the widgets as per your need. Click on save and preview your dashboard to get a feel on how it looks real time. You could also share the dashboard to anyone by sharing the link or you could embed the dashboard in any website. Please visit our website and learn more about the platform capabilities. Thanks for watching.